What's up guys, it's Boy Gifty here, back to the again with another video and it's been a while since we've done a haul unboxing. So without further ado, it's gonna be a chill video. I'm gonna show you guys my haul from MDX 2024. So shout out to my uh, Malaysian viewers who I saw at the Malaysia Diecast uh, Expo. Sorry guys, your boy Drifter is in a tight budget, so <clears throat> excuse the mess. And by the way, I'm a, I'm a bit sick, so don't mind if I cough throughout the video. Alright, so... It's gonna be chill with it. Let's just go right, get right with it. First one I have is the F40 Liberty Walk from Eno. So check this out. So the chase piece was the Hydro Chrome, is it? The very colorful one. But this is just a normal one. So still pretty nice. If you guys are wondering why I bought that, that's because uh, I didn't manage to get the Eno 64 Malaysia Diecast uh, models. Yeah, all three were sold out. So I thought I'll just buy the Hobby Expo China version. But not to cry because. When I bought the HEC version, I got a chase. Alright, one in 16 chances, one in 32 per case, I don't know. So pretty cool. Shout out to Black Bandit, to my boy Gabriel. I was literally waiting for my flight at Kuala Lumpur Airport. And I decided to open this on the spot while waiting for my food at Burger King. Hashtag no spawns. And it was a chase. I wasn't even anticipating it. I was literally just chill chillingly. I uh, just chillingly uh opened the car and it was a chase <laughs> so next one was uh, an mdx s15 top secret honestly i'm not a huge fan of the uh, s15 per se you know i really like the hks from tarmac but it's the event car from mini gt love the card art i love how they uh, were i don't know if there's a license for the kuala lumpur the, the, the petronas tower to be in a card but they got that in so it's very very nice very commemorative of the event taking place in malaysia that's why that's pretty cool next one mini gt f1 gtr uh you know i don't have time to go through all of this but if you guys have seen the photos on this this is very nice yes yeah, so once again i won't really be opening a lot of these cars it's gonna be a very long video <laughs> liberty walk dodge challenger srt hellcat from tarmac works liberty walk seems like the theme here is liberty walk i have a lot of liberty walk cars oh what do you know uh, this is a Liberty Walk. This is the NSX kind of house. Mini GT. Okay, so this one, let's uh, try to open it with one. If I can open it with one hand, I can't. It's stuck. This is what it looks like. Uh, pretty cool. Go some Hot Wheels right here. Upcoming Boulevard. Mitsubishi 3000. GT VR4. So while I'm showing the cars, uh, just letting y'all know that I'm keeping all of this uh, carded. It's a very, very long story. But uh, I don't really focus on Hot Wheels anymore. You know, like... I still want to collect them, but I know that if I open them, I'm just going to be selling them at my locker over at the D Hive. Hey, shout out to D Hive, by the way. If you guys want to buy my loose cars, head over to D Hive, Simlim Tower, or at uh, the Raffles Center. Uh, the, uh, we call it Dyke Center over at Raffles Place. So check that out. Yeah, so I'm showing this premium car, which I got at the flea market. Shout out to those that I met there, by the way. Really, really nice people. Freaking love. Lo freaking love my time in malaysia bro really enjoyed it there yeah i'm just gonna keep this carded um don't want to fomo on them these are pretty cool cars but i know that if i open these up <laughs> i'm most probably just gonna sell it off because uh nowadays i'm focusing more on the uh, scale cars yeah hot wheels really gotta buck up man it's a long story i don't want to get political but i really just don't collect hot wheels as much anymore yeah. Oh my god, Jifter, you're quitting Hot Wheels. No, I'm not quitting. Like I said, I really like the premium cars. At least for now. Until maybe I get sick of them. Or another brand does it way better than Hot Wheels. And I still love the Hot Wheels version. So yeah. Slide Street 2 was also at the flea market. Um, Damn. Doesn't look very Slide Street-y. You know, a lot of the Slide Street cars had the uh, crazy liveries, right? But I guess Hot Wheels decided to chip out on the Nissan and the Ford Mustang. Both of which are grey. Very nice. And by nice, I mean that's not nice. We got a 77 packing racer as well. Huge shout out to my guy, Wilson. Wilson, if you're watching this video, thank you so much, bro. Uh, Wilson was one of the vendors over at MDX. He gave this to me as a freebie. And uh, what do you call it? Where's... Hey, wait, hold on. There's another car that he gave. Oh, there, it's a Mercedes. Yeah. I have to apologize that I kind of threw the car onto my bed. I was just trying to make a grand entrance. I don't mean to offend anybody. But yeah, here's the car. Oh, it was going for 60 ringgit. Check this out. For those who are wondering, 60 ringgit is roughly... Uh, I think... 
18 13 US dollars I think or less than that I don't know yeah Wilson thank you so much bro for the freebies he said that I flew all the way to uh, Malaysia and he just wanted to give me a gift really really chill guy thank you so much bro Wilson if you're watching this and shout out to him guys if you are from uh, KL you guys want to look for some die cast uh, feel free to hit up Wilson and hey message him let him know that Jupiter uh, sent you so yeah and once again Slide Street Premium check that out so yeah, uh, while it's true that I don't really say collect premiums anymore, I am still collecting them in a sense. And I'll be keeping them, especially the gifts, you know. So <laughs> I will definitely be keeping the gifts. So thank you so much, Wilson. And these are two protons I got. Right here. Very, very nice. Uh, right off the bat, I can't remember the stall. But for those who are at the event, I forgot the name. I'm so sorry, but yo, shout out to y'all, man. Thank you, thank you, bros, for giving me the proton. Uh, Huayra, if you're watching this video as well, Huayra is one of the guys at the booth. Huayra, if you're watching this, thanks to you and your buddies for the free Proton Sagas. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, man. Check that out. And speaking of Proton Sagas, I have another one right here. Okay, check this out. Now, this one is pretty special because of the signature. This is from Ministry of Diecast. Check that out. So, Mr. Ministry, if you're watching this, Thank you so much, bro, for this car as well. We'll definitely be keeping this special piece. Crazy, guys. Ministry of Diecast was at the event. And I bet most of you didn't know that. <laughs> so about this Mini GT uh, Ford Puma Rally over here. Pretty nice. Uh, my first Neon Speeders. I'll just be honest with you guys. I don't really like the Neon Speeders line. If it's like the Ultimate Riser line, right? But but I felt like I had to get one, Okay. It's my responsibility as Drifter D to at least sample a car before I really talk smack about it. I can say I hate Neon Speeders, but I don't even have a Neon Speeders car. So maybe I'll review this one day and try the blue light on it. I don't know. Lance from Cast Heads. Shout out to you, bro. Thank you so much. Uh, while it's true, uh, Lance knew that I don't call like Majorettes. I, 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 I really don't like a lot of Majorette cars. In fact, I don't really like Majorettes. I'll just be brutally honest out there. I gotta give huge props to Lance from Cast Heads for giving me this car. As much as I don't really collect Major, I think it would be really cool to at least bring one home as a souvenir from MDX. So Lance from Cast Head, thank you so much for this Major. I think it's pretty cool. It has an opening front hood, which opens the other way. So you might want to check that out. And also got this Mini GT Silvias right here. These were that these were kind of cheap. Not because of the exchange rate, but someone was selling it for 65 ringgit, I think. Even for that market rate, it's pretty good. So I bought two. Two extra cars. I already have this, but I'll just bought two extra cars. That guy had like a box full of these. So I'm not scalping or anything. There's so many of those in stock. Uh Castrol R32. Pretty nice. Uh I've always been a fan of the Castrol livery. So very happy to add it to my collection. There's also this Porsche 911 from G uh, 911 from Mini GT. Would be cool to compare this to the Tomica Premium version. Uh oh, right, check this out. I have a mini GT pay chase, my first mini GT chase. Okay, so uh, let's let's uh, let's be real. Let's let's all be real here. Oh, this car hella ugly. The car is hella ugly. The wheels hella ugly. Okay, maybe in the car in real life is not ugly per se, but this casting is hella ugly. But I wanted to have my own chase. At least have one mini GT chase at a pretty good price. Right here. So this was like what twenty five sing less than tw around twenty US dollars or less for a chase piece. I couldn't say no to that. And one more car here is a Nissan Hot Wheels loose car. How much did I buy this for? I think I got this at a pretty cheap price as well. Uh, loose cars, I guess there's a lot of uh, carded collectors out there, right? So where when they sell cheap car, uh, loose cars, it comes very cheap. So very nice. So I have to mention, firstly, I have a shirt right here. Check this out. Shout out to uh, Huayra once again. Huayra, my guy, if you're watching this, thank you so much for this shirt. Uh, I'm not going to open it right now, but be, you, you guys are sure to see this on like my videos on Instagram. By the way, follow me on Instagram if you guys haven't yet. So, very nice. Thank you, Huayra, bro, for the shirt. Uh, okay, okay. Oh, I can't wait to make a video on this. So, this is an XS. Obviously, your boy Drifter is not an XS. I'm more, I'm more like a L, maybe XL. But I had to buy the shirt to buy the freaking event car. So, freaking L from Mini GT, forcing me to buy the size of a shirt that can't even fit me. Absolute L. So, uh, that sucks. Then, uh, and lastly, I think it's the last car. This is the last one. Hello, House Cup. They were selling coffee there, and I thought I'll. Oh, wait, this is not the last one, guys. Oh, there's more. 
and all's cup souvenir and i know this is an eno bag my brother's at the office today yes your boy drifter is working full time no guys being a influencer is not exactly a real job this has always been a hobby for me okay anyways not to preach very nicely done shout out to cm model they hooked me up with this i've been working with them and their models are really nice there's these are licensed by the way Okay, I understand these are models that are from China, but CM models, at least for the more recent batches, from what I know, don't take my word for it, guys. I'm kind of fumbling my words here. But in short, these are model license. These are all license with model license. <laughs> license models. These are all license models. Mitsubishi Lancer right here in chrome purple. Whoa, this box is sliding out. That's not what I wanted to do. This freaking sick. Very nicely done. Very nice uh, MDX models. And lastly, uh, we're gonna have to. We're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. Also, I have my uh, MDX uh, pop race right there. And I bought a Koval display case. Very, very nicely. It looks very nice when it's in the display case. So, yeah, those were pretty much my haul. Uh, thank you guys for watching. It's been a while since I've done a long form video. But as you all know, I focus more on IG reels, TikToks, and those uh, easy to make videos, you know? So, yeah, be sure to follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. Okay, and if nothing else, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.